Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I wanted to do a video about a tool that you can buy at Stuart McDonald. Now at the risk of sounding like a shill for Stuart McDonald, um, I really, really like this tool. It is the Safe Edge Z file. And um, <clears throat> for anybody out there who thinks that I get free shit from Stu Mac, um, man, I wish. I got free shit from Stu Mac. Um, there are a handful of ways you can get things at a discount from Stu Mac. One is to join their buyers club and that's what I did and that's why I bought this file um, because for a while there they had a deal and it was, I don't know, it was, it was off, like maybe 20 bucks or something off and I'm like, all right, I'll give it a shot. So um, I'm not a shill for Stu Mac, but if you're watching Stu Mac, I'd be more than happy to, uh, I would sell out so fast it would make your head spin. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Safety Edge Z file. I'm about to do uh, about to dress the frets on this guitar here. This is for my friend Jeff LaQuatra, and uh, I have leveled everything, and now uh, everything is super super flat, and I need to recrown everything. So that's what the Safety Edge file does. Um, the cool thing about it is you can't round over more than, wait a minute, you can't go past your level spot. So because it's not an actual, it doesn't look like the negative image of a fret, um, you can't go past where you have leveled already. So I'm just doing this one here and I'm getting it close and what I wanna end up with is, I wanna end up with a line that is still level to everything else, but a fret that is nice and rounded. You know, so just that little hair of a line should show. And um, there we go, it's done. <laughs> um, let me get the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the, oh, here my, <laughs> here's the fret that I just did. And as you can see, it's just a hint of a line that is now flat with this guy here, which has a humongous line because it hasn't been recrowned yet. And with just a few seconds with the Z file, um, you go from this to this, and it really saves a lot of time. So here's the file, and let me see. You see how, let's get that, there we go. You see how it's got angles instead of curves? And you do one side with it, and then you flip it over and do the other side, and it's just about perfect every time. Okay, so as everybody knows, fret work is very important, and uh, as everyone also knows, fret work sucks. So the, uh, the Safe Edge Z file comes with the thumbs up from me. Um, so check it out at Stu Mac. It's, uh, it's, worth, it's worth the investment. Um, if you have any questions about the Safety Edge file, um, Please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. If you like content like this, I would urge you to subscribe and if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. So um, I gotta get back to work on this guy so Jeff can play. And by the way, uh, I've already done the Goose's bass, so tell Goose his bass is almost ready too. So this is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you, if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching everybody.